Hello, this is Crochet Basics with Kajra Lee, and in this episode I'm going to show you how to start and get a shell stitch blanket or scarf uh, going. So I have an easier method than usual chaining. Uh, we're going to use homespun and they suggest a K hook, which is fine by us. It, this is a USK. It's a 10.5 um, size, 6.50 6 millimeter US sizes. So I'm um, sorry, <laughs> a little distracted for a second. Okay, so with the homespun, it's not really meant to be pulled out from the center, but I'm kind of a rebel, so I will dig out the center because that's how I roll. Anyway, um, you'll need a few skeins, depending if you're gonna make a scarf or a blanket, and you want to always check your die lots, make sure that your die lots match okay if you're making uh, something bigger or whatever for a scarf you might need probably two skeins depending on uh, how wide and long you're going to make it so let's get started with the homespun it, it's a double wrapped and this thread that runs through it is what's keeping your fluffies together it's keeping the yarn together so to start uh, I always suggest making a small knot just to in the beginning of your tail just to keep it nice from unraveling. You don't want the, the fuzzies to come out because that's you know the whole point of this yarn. Anyway, you're going to leave a tail for weaving in later, okay? And with this, I do a crossover method and you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then you're going to double crochet in the third chain, your starting chain, the third chain from the hook. Okay, so you're going to double crochet. All right, and you'll have a little loop there, and that's that's our working loop. Now with this, you can chain, you can make as many of these as you want, but it has to be an odd number, um, and I'll show you why. It, it makes it a lot easier, and it evens out when you're working it. Okay, so we'll do it again. We're gonna chain three. One, two, three. Okay, three chains and you'll double crochet in that third chain from the hook. All right, so we'll double crochet and we'll do a few more. One, two, three. And this is really simple. It gets it going quicker. You're not looking for your uh, chain stitches later on. You're not counting the one, two, three. Oh, here, this is my, my, my shell stitch or one, two, three. You know, this is my uh, single crochet. All right, so you're gonna wanna make as many of these as the width uh, that you want, uh, as many of these loops, okay? So, and you wanna keep it an odd number. I chained uh, 35, this will be my last one. This is my 35th one, okay? So, um, one, two, three, and if you hold on to the one prior, you'll know exactly where your chain is to uh, make your double crochet, okay? Oops. And there's no chaining in between because you're just chaining three and then going into that first one that you chain, that third one from the hook. Okay, so there's no chaining in between. So let's start our shell. So we're gonna chain two and we're going to double crochet. We're doing our shell right in the center of our space there, okay? So you're going to do five double crochets right there. Two, three, Okay, and there's no chaining in between this either. All right, and you're gonna go right into the center and do your single crochet. So one single crochet. And this'll uh, even out as you go if your tension is good and also if you didn't chain like too loosely, if, if you know, you have a nice, um, not too tight, not too loose, but a nice even chain. I'll, I'll say that, even is, is good for me. All right, and then after you get your single crochet in there, you're gonna do another um, shell stitch uh, in the next one over, okay? So, and then you'll just repeat it to the end. Well, now that you got your first row in, okay, this will be my last one here, my last set of uh, five double crochet for my uh, shell. Okay, so you got your row in. Your end is nice and tight. Okay, now this is what the first row looks like. And this is nice because it gives just a little kind of a scallop, just a little detail. 
And it's nice because you don't have to sit there and count your chains. You're done, you know? You're not counting, oh, where is my next stitch going in? All right, so when you get to your end, you're going to chain two, okay? So you started uh, with a shell and you ended with a shell, okay? So my beginning and my end here, all right? And in the first where you just chained, you're going to do two double crochets. And I've showed this in, an, in another video also, okay? But this is um, same thing, an ending shell or, you know, a half shell, all right? So you're gonna do your two double crochets. You're going to single crochet in the center of your shell from your previous and then you'll start doing your shells in your single crochet in the center of where your uh, five double crochets are okay and then you'll work the row uh, just to the end you know okay, and now um, we're at the end of our row and you'll see I actually had to skip ahead because I did not charge my uh, battery and my camera was dying so but when you get to your end okay you'll do your top single crochet on the top here of your um, shell, your five double crochet, all right? And then you'll do two double crochets in your end. And uh, let's see. So you'll do two double crochets in your end and then you'll turn your work. So that's your ending shell, just two on the very end, okay? You'll chain one, you'll turn your work and it'll repeat itself. You'll single crochet. And how you uh, start a row is how you're going to end a row on this, uh, with this with the shell pattern, okay? It makes it super easy. So, and another thing I wanted to show you right quick is how to uh, change colors. Okay, now with the homespun, you uh, homespun is beautiful on its own. The color variations in it uh, are always gorgeous. So you can do something as simple as a uh, just a plain double crochet or a shell stitch comes out perfect and the shell stitch is nice because back and forth when you do the shell it it makes it textured it, it pops it makes it uh, pretty if you ask me okay but let's do a color change so on a color change with uh, this or whatever yarn you're going to use okay um, for a color change whatever you're working with all right you're going to do a double crochet so you'll pull up pull up and before you pull through your last two you'll change you'll you'll grab your other yarn and this is just for a uh, double um, a color change with a double crochet all right at the very end of a row all right and you'll hold it you'll pull it through your last two uh, loops from the top of your double crochet you'll pull your blue tight or whatever color it is and then you'll chain and you'll turn your work and you'll just start working with the new color and another thing with uh, color change which is uh, you know just a FYI you might not want to cut off and start weaving in until you have it worked a little bit and you're definitely sure that this is the color you want to work with I hope you like making this you can make it in a scarf or uh, making it in a blanket you know whatever you want to do or a pillow case you know if you want to make a fancy throw pillow or whatever and always you know if you think when you're starting out and you're doing your your chain and double crochet loops if you feel like ah, oh, I don't know if it's too big or you know if it's whatever get your measuring tape this is like primo to have when you're working with yarn and stuff it, it, it makes it so much easier, you know, am I going to make a scarf? Oh, well, this looks about right. And then you have like a 10-inch scarf that's, uh, you know, if it's not a, an infinity scarf, it's kind of floppy and you're just like, you know, I don't know about that. Homespun's the bomb. It, it makes everything beautiful, <laughs> I think, and their color variations are, are just gorgeous. So if you have any questions, please ask. Uh, if you do make this, post pictures. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, please subscribe because, you know, it keeps me off the streets and, uh, you know, hooking uh, is, is uh, good for everybody, right? Hooking will keep you off the streets too. Keeps you out of trouble. So um, thank you so much for watching and uh, look for my next videos. Subscribe so that, you know, you'll be uh, the first ones to uh, see them. So um, that's all for now. Have a wonderful day. Happy hooking because it keeps you off the streets. Thanks for watching. Bye now.